Now we want to look at solving quadratic equations by factoring. Uh, this first quadratic equation is set up very nicely for us. Everything is already on one side and zeros on the other side. So what we need to do now is just factor. Since this is a trinomial and there is no common factor other than one, we just go straight to the two sets of parentheses to put our binomial factors in here. We know that x squared should break down to be x and x. Everything here is positive, so that tells me that both of these signs in here need to be positive. And then we have to break down the 12. Numbers that multiply to give you 12 and add to give you 8 will be 6 and 2. Now you can easily check this to make sure you've got everything right. x times x is x squared. 6 times 2 is 12. And in the middle you have a plus 6x, and on the outside you have a plus 2x, and that gives you that positive 8x in the middle. Now using the zero factor theorem, we know that x plus 6 equals 0, or x plus 2 equals 0. Taking these nice, small, linear equations and solving them is really no big deal. So just move the 6 to the other side, so x equals negative 6, or x is equal to negative 2. So in this problem, we have two different solutions, x equals negative 6, or x equals negative 2. And it's very easy to plug these guys back into the original to check to make sure that it comes out okay. In fact, let's do that just to make sure that we're all believers here. So when I check x equals negative 6. I need to see if negative 6 squared plus 8 times negative 6 plus 12 is equal to 0. We need to find out, is this going to be true? Well, this is 36 minus 48 plus 12. And yes, we can see that this is going to give me 0. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0. So this guy checks out. We check the other solution. Let's check x equals negative 2. If I plug in negative 2, will this give me a true statement? Well, let's see. We have a positive 4 minus 16 plus 12. Does this equal 0? negative 12 plus 12 does equal 0. So this guy is confirmed. So we know that both x equals negative 6 and x equals negative 2 are suitable replacements for x in this equation to give me a true statement.